Talk to us about that Everest photo. All right, Paul. This, you know, I, it was used in a wrong reason. It was used, uh, misutilized by the media people, and some of them didn't even get, give the credit. And, and I'm super upset. I will tell you the the exact thing because I have been there. This is this is my world. You know, every year twenty thousand people climb Mont Blanc. It's the highest mountain in Europe. More than twenty thousand people. And then. If you try to capture the people of like 20,000 people, how, how much queue are you going to see on Mont Blanc? But unlike Mount Everest, Mont Blanc has got so many different opportunities. It's, it has got different weather conditions. And there are so many like, you know, I would say um, opportunities of getting to the summit at different time interval. And it's not a thousand meters. It's only, you know, like 5,000. But Everest, only like 1,200 per meter were issued. And that number is relatively low. It wasn't any bigger than 2014, 2013, 11, or anything else. And a lot of people were commenting about this without knowing about Everest, you know. They were like, oh, it's a tourist and all. It's like, no, it's not. You know, you got to go into the mountain. You got to acclimatize for almost two months. You got to climb through this Kumbu icefall that can kill you at any time. Then forget the Lhotse wall. It's like 1.6 miles, you know. And it's about 55 degrees. You got to climb that, then into the South Pole, then you got to climb the Everest. Have you done that? If you haven't, then please don't comment. Now, coming into that picture, a lot of these kind of people were over there. And that season, because of the whole weather condition, there was only one good day towards the end of the season. And of course, if you have put your time, effort, money, some people have sold their house, you want to go for that. You want to take that opportunity. So everybody took that opportunity. It's, it's, a, it's a human thing. And don't say that, oh, it's a tourist. No, man. You know, if you haven't been there and if you haven't done that, you know, yeah. And, and that's what it upset me because, you know, people use it for the wrong reason. You know, if you have climbed Everest in, in whatever way, then you can talk. But then again, be true to yourself, you know. And then a lot of people ask me, oh, Everest is a lot easier. And it's like, not really, man. Because I spoke with Reinhold Messner, who climbed all this, you know, a thousand years without oxygen. If you remove all the support, manpower, the, 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 the Sherpas and everybody else, Everest is, is still the hardest mountain to climb. You cannot even go through the Kumbu Ice Wall. Forget, you know, Lhotse Wall. So if you don't know enough knowledge, don't talk about it, guys. That's all I want to say. It was interesting that that's your viewpoint on it. And that's the reason. I mean, why did you take the photo for that reason? Just because it was interesting I, and no, impressive? No, 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 no. I took the reason because I was trying to climb Everest and not say in just six hours. My previous record was 10 hours, 15 minutes, which I had broken accidentally. I didn't even knew that. I was just like going in my normal pace. So when I said I was going to broke my world record by like, you know, let's say in almost half, because at this point I'm conscious. So... But then I got stuck in the traffic and all that. And ah, I was just like, if somebody, yes. I'm a, I'm a man of my word. And if somebody questioned me, like, okay, you said that, but you didn't do it. People are always like that, man. You will find people like this. And I would say, okay, it's good. You say me that, but then this is the reason. I, it was just for my evidence. I understand. You made this like negative haters shut, shut their mouth. But yes. then it was used in other purpose, yeah, brother. But wow. hey. Man, that's so interesting that, in your opinion, as someone who's more qualified than pretty much everybody on the planet to talk about going up and down mountains quickly, oh. you're still saying Everest's the hardest mountain to climb on the planet if it's unsupported. It's still even yeah. supported, incredibly difficult. It's still tough. The reason that the mountain on that day was so heavily populated is because of the um, backlog of people you get when they do a push to base camp one, base camp two, and then they finally go up and down in a day. You only had a short window of weather. And then it's, Summit, yeah. Yeah, it gets flipped because the message that came across to me as a normal member of the public was look at these rich, lazy adventure wannabes who are paying probably yeah. cheap local sherpas to carry all of their stuff up you know what it reminded me of this is what i thought when i first saw all of the news stories have you seen those images of people who've shot lions 
in um, mm-hmm. parks in Africa and stuff like that. And there's always, it's always a rich American businessman. He's a bit fat. He's sweating. And yeah. he's there. You've got this, this kind of fat picture of modern day excess human next to a really proud, gracious animal that someone else has tracked and he's killed. And it gave me the same sensation as that. It made me think, have we commodified, have we made so commercialized the tallest, supposedly most difficult mountain on the planet? And what you're saying is that it's quite the opposite. It's still incredibly hard to do. And for anyone that actually understands the way that you do a push up the mountain, this queue of people was inevitable because they'd done the hard work and this was their one opportunity to get to the top. There was one opportunity. And then who wouldn't take that? You know, so if you don't, if you haven't done that and if you haven't been there, you know, you could have done, you know, yeah, some people even commented because they climb in, in different era, different time. It's, it's still the same. If at that point when these people had climbed and there were, there were other climbers up to this enormous size because of the, of the education, because of the knowledge that people knew that, then you would still be in that same position. It's just the time, you know, it's, it's changing because now people know what it is and people know what it takes. Just because you have been there for the first time doesn't mean like it was so like hard. It's still you got to climb that mountain. Either somebody run two like full marathon in two hours or whatever it is, you still have to run that marathon. It's still you have to do it. You cannot just say, oh, one person did full marathon and he's the first man to do it. Oh, negative brother. If people are still doing full marathon now, you still you got to claim that achievement because you run that same distance. Be broad about the thinking, people, and uh, let's stop being so like. I don't know, you know, people just always pointing this one and like. Judgmental really negative energy. Yeah, you know, we we have come into this world where this is a time to adjust. This is the time where I feel like. It's not about the race. It's not about, you know, which national you are from. It's not about now this thing's going to change. It's, it's about the human race. And, and, and now coming into this, my topic, this is going to happen because with the climate change, with the global warming, if we all as a human being don't work together, we're not going to extinct. We, well, we're just, we're just going to disappear. So this is where, you know, the things are happening naturally, brother. You know, like where, you know, it's not about, you know, before it was... If you see the world again, back and then, people were like about the rest. People were from, that is changing now slowly. And then now we are changing for a reason. We are changing for, for our survival as well. So in every area that we need to be broader thinking in a human, I guess. Was there not a story associated with your photo to do with people leaving rubbish on the mountain? No, it wasn't. Thank God. Otherwise okay, <laughs> but do you know? Do you know what I'm talking about? Am I, have I just made this yeah, up? Yeah, yeah. No, no. So I think you know there are a lot of you know rubbish and stuff on on the big mountains and all, and uh, you know sometimes you know people are so tired and and they don't do it. But then I think now you know, or also some people probably didn't knew the extremity of of that 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 incident, and they probably didn't know how much it's gonna affect the the world by leaving a trash there. But now everybody is getting educated. You know, people probably, you know, used to leave the electricity on in the house, even though if they are not there. But now people are getting educated. So they turn the electricity off. They don't do food waste. You know, at least some people are trying. And then it's exactly the same. I think that the education has, the awareness has gone a bit wider now. And of course, all these people love the, love the mountains. And, and as we progress towards this, you know, next generation, we, we, everybody will start cleaning this up. And I think, Nobody is there as a bad human, I would say, and it's just about the the perspective. We all want to do do good in life. I don't think anybody in the world want to be known for like super bad in you know, a man. I don't know if there is there. There's maybe point whatever percent, but everybody wants to be happy. Everybody wants to be a good person. So I think we are a good person. So I think we will start cleaning all that up in the in the future. All my expedition that we run, we're gonna. If there is there's a capacity with with our guides and all, we will bring it down. And uh, and it's not like the effort of one person. We all have to do together. And as long as everybody put everything what they do as 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 a core message, are you like we have to look after our earth in whatever way we do? Then then it's fair. 
And then, and I think the whole thing with um, I just recently was you know Sir David uh, Attenborough's you know you know you know the witness is in a statement, and it's very simple. You know, we don't have to be super like you know like you know rogue or super like you know like I don't know extreme about this. But as long as it's practical, and as long as we whatever decision we make, we put you know our home as in earth as a core into that decision making that we are making will make the whole difference and it, and that could be small from like people like us to the politicians to the billionaires everybody if everybody plays their part we're smiling so yeah. what what did you see in ter- <clears throat> in terms of climate change what oh, mate, effects I, I can think- you see on the mountain so from my own eyes, I was on Amadablam in 2014. Uh, at that point, when we were at Kamwan, you know, we could melt the snow and we can cook our food and drink. I went there again in 2018. And then, you know what? There was no snow, anything else. And we had to carry like 20 liters of water from the base camp. And 20 liters is 20 kg. And when you had to carry that of that altitude, just because, you know, the, the global warming is happening and all that... It kicks you, man. Then the other incident was I was on Dhaulagiri. So Dhaulagiri is known as the White Mountain because it snows all the time. Uh, it's the world's seventh highest mountain. I was there in 2014. And last year when I went, you know, during the, the, the Bremen Project Possible, the whole glacier was like melting. And, and I saw it from my own eyes. And that was a bit really sad moment brother and and hence why you know like last year i said i was going to raise the awareness about climate change but now as a nimsta as a person i'm acting on it you know i cannot change the world but then i can change in my lifestyle i can do whatever i can do in order to like you know be be more sustainable yeah. Yeah. Yeah.